Oh my gosh, dudes, it's hot. Woo. To be fair, it's like, I don't know, 107, 104, and a bunch of humidity today due to monsoon clouds and storms. Whatever. Let's get you up to speed where we're at. Check it out. Um, yeah, roll pan is off. And you can kind of see what I'm dealing with. Um, this bed, although it was better than the other bed I had, right? You can see like it still is not perfect. I mean, it was way better. I'll try and get you guys a shot. There's not a lot of light back here, but you can see there's no worms, there's no holes, like there's no Bondo stuff going on there. There's some if you look up in this corner, but overall, like I'm pretty sure a qualified body guy can salvage and make better use of this bed than I can of this sheet metal. Boy, is it dark, sorry about that. Um, this side, this side was actually wrecked. You can see where it was hit, like it was pushed in. You know, he backed into someone, someone backed into him. This side, kind of similar, a lot of holes. Of course, it's worse now, thanks to me trying to do a, a roll pan on my own, but you know, hopefully a qualified guy can breathe some life into this, or maybe we can order some new sheet metal. I don't know, I haven't been able to source rockers online. Cab corners, or not cab corners, but bed corners bed rockers I don't friggin know you'd think with all the high luxes in the world it'd be easier to find sheet metal like all those lucky c10 LMC guys Woo, that swamp cooler feels good put a fork in me I'm done because apparently two things have just happened one these things are not wired correctly like they're just not like you plug them in they only go one way and my running lights are my brake lights and my turn signal is my brake light and I tried both sides and it doesn't matter, it's not working. And then I tried my old ones and much to my chagrin, I might be using that word wrong, but let's just say I don't have brake lights. And I don't know how long I've had brake lights, but here's what I do know. That's correct. And when I put those lights on, not correct. That's working on cars. That's the real deal. Quick look underneath while we're here because I had some questions last time around that I guess I'll answer. Oh, there's that crummy tailgate. Don't buy that, it sucks. Um, three inch blocks, it's dark, you can't see anything. Three inch blocks. And apparently that shock has some kind of issue going on. I don't know what's up with that. Three inch block, 30 year worn out spring, brand new tires. Um, yeah. Yes, the frame hits the axle. Yes, it rides as bad as it looks. No, I just realized that problem the same time you did, so I don't know what all that's about. Yeah, so as you can see here, clearly, there's an issue. Now, just for poops and giggles, I threw this one in. This one seems to be functioning correctly. But you can see there's something going on on the dash. Look, open circuit. Right hand side, let's go back and check. See something's going on here. So this one seems to be assembled correctly. Boy, they sure look sharp, they look nice. Can't argue with that, huge improvement. But clearly something with this one is wired wrong and it's getting hot, so we better shut this off. This is monsoon season. This is what it looks like. Anyways, back to the lights. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, it looked like there was two wires swapped around, so it turned out to be a pretty easy fix. And I'm telling you, the lighting does not do this justice. These lights look fantastic. Man, I tell you, it's the little things in life. How friggin' rad is that? To the Pines 2022.
made it. It was a very long drive. How long was that? Like three hours? Yeah. We took the long way for sure. That was definitely the long way. And bumpy wish. Yeah, bumpy. Long. Bumpy. Look at this. Look at this Chevy. Let's walk around and do some videoing. 